Oliver, luxury is the way to go. This is going to stay a bifurcated economy for a while then, right? Yeah, we're, we're very optimistic with the health of the consumer. The stimulus will be a big benefit. The last 12 months in the S&P has been robust. And also, uh, the average of, um, of payments in terms of unemployment and stimulus, those will all be nice positive. Clothing and footwear, PCE, as well as the savings rate being in the 20s versus a 6% average, those are positives too. So our top ideas are Tapestry, as well as My Teresa and Farfetch. And as we think about that, uh, My Teresa and Farfetch are digitally native platforms. Uh, that's a great place to be with luxury goods going online. And luxury will be an attractive category as consumers are optimistic and all the opulism uh, that may happen, we're very bullish as well. So is that why Nordstrom's doing this, I guess, weird thing and splitting off its digital business from bricks and mortar, even though omni-channel is so much of what people are talking about, just that need to create a luxury model that's digital native, you think? Yeah, I think it's very critical. I mean, the announcement at, at Saks as well in terms of really focusing on, on that business and investing behind that business, it takes a lot of capital and R&D as well as IT and scale to run that business. Uh, Nordstrom's had a, a very pioneering approach with Nordstrom Local, the local market strategy, very customer service orientated. So this digital focus is here to stay. It's accelerated and will, it will only be more and more important as customers are very mobile first and looking for exceptional convenience. Yeah, maybe I was thinking of Saks. I always get Nordstrom and Saks mixed up. Now that's not to say that you are bearish on the Walmarts and Targets of the world just because you like luxury, right? Yeah, exactly. I think what we're seeing is a certain degree of bifurcation where customers are looking for strong value. Costco's also pulled back. It's about down 15% year to date. Um, that's an idea we like as well. So thinking about value in the future of retail, less is more as well. Um, Walmart and Target, they're multi-category broadline retailers. We do have shoppers uh, going fewer trips to the stores, but buying more. And being multi-category is a good place to be, as well as offering exceptional value. You know, Walmart's pioneering strategy was everyday low prices. So that continues to resonate with the consumer, which is looking for value as well as luxury. Okay. Well, it sounds like opportunities to be had at both ends. Oliver, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.